The Chum Cannon, delivering a payload of minced tuna, is a fun way to attract sharks to the boat. But for Jesse Harper, collecting data on the animals is serious business. The population there has grown over the last several years, so there's a lot of animals that, that frequent the island, especially in the fall. That's when we do our trips, through September through November. Jesse observed that white sharks at Guadalupe were carrying the tags of researchers in Northern California, providing more evidence of the animals' long migrations. Some of the sharks we do see have tags on them, which uh, is proof that they've been studied by other people in other places, such as those satellite tags that they've been using up north and other identification tags that they have. I've started doing an identification project on them myself, just identifying the animals and how many we see per day and which ones come in the morning, which ones come in the evening, what kind of relationship they have with each other, if they get along, if they don't get along. The two sharks that are here right now, they're the most uh, aggressive shark we've seen at the island. And right now they're competing against each other for food. Some animals will, will be very dominant, very aggressive. They'll come at the bait several times over and over and over. Those tend to be the ones that, that are larger, they're the ones that have a lot more scars on their face and on their tail, um, and they're not afraid, they're not very timid. Whereas the other sharks that are real clean, they're, uh, they tend to stay off a ways, they, they're easily pushed off by the larger sharks, the more aggressive sharks. 